Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella. Today is episode 125, I think. <laughs> this is actually going to be a short episode because I don't have much to share. I don't say that pretty much every episode, but it's real this time. <laughs> I have three finished objects, but only two I can show you uh, in person. My heat's kicking on. <laughs> and then I have uh, two whips. One that I forgot about until just now. <laughs> I found it laying behind my little box over here that I keep in the living room. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and hop into it. So my first finished ob object, I'm gonna try to find a picture from a video that I took of it uh, and insert a screenshot here. It is a candy corn amigurumi that I made for my neighbor that lives above us, little boy, for Halloween. I put them together a little um, basket of Halloween stuff and left it on their porch or their, you know, their steps. <laughs> and um, I wanted to make a little amigurumi, so I made that one to put in it. And it was super quick and easy. And it's a free pattern uh, from Olive at stringydingding.com. Uh, I will link that below. Uh, you can get the pattern for free just on her blog, or you can pay $1.99 to get um, the PDF version of it. Or you can join her membership thing, which is, I think, $6.99 a month, and then you get access to all of her patterns pretty much uh, for, for, you know, for that $6.99 fee. And um, it's really cool because there's also a form and stuff on the membership. I like it a lot. I enjoy it. <laughs> I, um, I've been a member of it since it started and that's just been a month. And then yesterday, whenever the first was, two days ago, <laughs> Sunday, uh, I got rebuilt for it. So it builds on the first of the month. But anyways, so that's my emigrammy. I made it with scraps. The red and yellow are red heart. Uh, it's red heart, white, and bright yellow. And the orange, I can't remember what brand it is, but it's not red heart. And it's a scrap uh, skein. I actually have it right here. <laughs> it's, it's not a red heart. Maybe it is, but I don't remember it being a red heart. It's something. It does look like a red heart skein, though. It's really bright orange. Um... So yeah, that's what I made over that. <laughs> and then uh, I think I used a, uh, a elf hook because that's the hook I always go to for amigurumis usually. <laughs> elf hook and more sweat yarn is like my combo for amigurumis. Doesn't matter what the pattern says, most of the time I will use those two. My next finished objects I made last night. Uh, we were watching Home Alone and um, we decorated for Christmas <laughs> as if we couldn't tell. But um, we were watching Home Alone and I wanted to make some quick little amigurumis and uh, these are the ones I made. So I had this yarn still laying over here from the am the uh, candy corn. So I made this one. <laughs> it's bright orange. This is called um, Itty Bitty Kitty by Thorsby Cottage. <laughs> it's a free pattern on their blog. It'll be linked below also. I made this because I saw that Angelia from Crocheting House Mouse. I'll link her below too. Um, made some. And then other people were making them because she made them. And I thought they were cute. And it doesn't really take much yarn at all. And uh, I did use safety eyes and a safety nose, which I got right here. The noses are down here on the bottom. I got this from Amazon. I will try to remember to link that below if you guys are interested. But those are the safety eyes I always order. And they come with the little noses. But I think it's so cute. And you, it's just two pieces. It's the body and the tail. And you just sew the tail on. I guess you could leave it loose, but I like to sew it to the, you know, to make it look like it's sitting there. <laughs> And uh, you just crochet in a circle up and it's open and then you push the two sides together and crochet across to make the little ears. <laughs> it's really cute, really quick. And uh, so there's one. I made this one also. I don't know what this yarn is. It is a scrap ball. All right, here's the ball. <laughs> um, it was actually a floppy skein that I got from a woman recently. I bought some fabric from her, and she had some scrap yarns, so she gave those to me too. And it was a real floppy skein, and I, I yesterday I wound this ball, and then it got knotted, so I just cut it, and I made the other ball out of the rest of the yarn, and that's what I made this cat with. And it was exactly enough to make this cat. <laughs> it just had, the, all that was left was the tail to sew the tail on. So, um, it's this color. I think it's Red Heart, but I don't know what the color is. But I just thought it was cute. <laughs> and again, it's got, it's a little, it's a little crooked. It's got the yellow eyes and little pink nose. It came out smaller. Just because this yarn is a little bit thinner than this yarn. And again, I used the F hook for both of these. 
I don't know if the pattern calls. I think the pattern calls for a smaller hook but, and DK yarn. But like I said, <laughs> always use worst of weight now hook. Um, every now and then I use like a G or an H, but it depends on what size I want the finished project to be. But I think these are adorable. Little cats. I'm probably gonna make a whole bunch of these because <laughs> they're a lot of fun and super easy. And it's one of those patterns that it'll get in your head and be stuck in there. So I can just pop them out without even looking at it. And um, these are probably gonna go in my Etsy shop soon. Because uh, why not? <laughs> but they're so cute. I do like this yarn. I've never seen it before, but it was in uh, that baggie of scrap yarns. So those are my finished objects. <laughs> if my voice sounds weird, it's because I just woke up a little while ago. I'm trying to get this done before Jesse wakes up. It is uh, just after six in the morning, <laughs> but I woke up at five. So I'm trying to get stuff done. All right, as for whips, I have two whips. I completely forgot about this first one I'm gonna show you. And it's because it fell behind my little tote that I keep my yarn and stuff on. I need one of those three tier uh, carts that all kinds of crafty people use because they're cute and um, what is one functional. <laughs> but my, my next whip is a pattern that I got in the mail from Lisa at Happy to Hook Creations. And it's, she sent me a whole little stack of these little like calendar patterns. And the one I picked out to start is called Little Strawberries. And it's these little bears that look like strawberries. <laughs> and it calls for sport weight yarn and an e-hook. And I was like, okay, that's not happening because I hate using a little yarn and I don't have hardly any little yarn. I have a few finger weights I've been holding on to thinking I'm gonna make something with, but I'm probably never gonna make anything with them. But, um, so I got it and I'm using worsted weight and an elf hook and I made its head, <laughs> that's its whole head. And I used, again, the safety eyes and nose from that set, a little red nose cause I thought, cause of the body. And then I made the body. So I'm, I'm having a hard time getting this to stay shaped the right way. Once I get it all sewn together, I'll fluff it around and it'll look more strawberry -y. So I gotta make the uh, the arms, the legs, the ears, the little strawberry stem on the top of its head. And I'm gonna make this one with the collar because it looks like a strawberry. <laughs> I just realized I forgot to stitch on those little seeds. I'll have to do that too. But this is the boy and the girl. But I like this green thing on the boy one because it looks like the top of a strawberry. So I gotta make uh, the stem, the ears, the arms, the legs, and the ruffle. And also the little seeds <laughs> but it's getting there it's much bigger than it would have been it would have been much smaller had i used the right yarn and hook but i like making larger amigurumis anyways i think it'll be really cute once it's all put together and done i don't know if this is online this pattern i will look before i post this video and if i can find it online i will link it in the description um it has the designer's name on it so i'm sure i could uh figured out it's got her tumblr on there but i don't know if people even use tumblr anymore <laughs> i don't know how old this um calendar is but i will do some digging and try to find it for you guys all right my last whip is my six day kid blanket i worked on a little bit since last week but i don't think i worked on it a whole lot I'm trying to remember um i have it packaged up i usually just leave it laying out on my tote over here but I, I packed it up so I could take it to my in-laws uh, the other day. And then I ended up not even working on it. I just stayed in the car the whole time. Okay, this I'm using worsted weight yarn. It is um, Red Heart Super Saver Ombre, uh, Sea Coral, and a rock name that I can't say. <laughs> I'm really bad at pronouncing those rock names. It's the gray one. And I'm using a eye hook. I'm making a larger size. Um, the original pattern is for like a toddler size blanket and then the creator has a way to make it larger. So I, I made it the, I think it's adult um, lap blanket size. It's going to be 40 inches by 48 inches. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> so here's what I got so far of it. So I did one whole pink and then gray and then half of a pink repeat. And it's pretty wide. It's definitely, it's probably four foot long or wide, which is accurate. Because <laughs> it's supposed to be 48 inches wide and 40 inches long, I believe. Something like that. 
probably the other way around. It's supposed to be 40 inches wide, 48 inches long. But uh, it'll be as big as it is, I guess. So yeah, I think it's turned out really pretty. Let me hold it up so you can see the stitches. This has been a really popular pattern, pattern for a while. I've had it downloaded forever. I know I just never did it. I know a lot of people can pop this out super fast. And I probably could if I'd sat down and work on it. But I keep getting distracted. <laughs> Halloween was distracting the whole weekend. We were busy. And then I'm sewing again. And Christmas coming up and everything. And I was wanting to work on some amigurumi. So I've just been busy making other things. But I'm sure it'll come along eventually. This is kind of my uh, resting project. I like to have a blanket going. Or a shawl. Um, that is like a repetitive thing over and over again so that when I'm watching TV or just chilling I can just work on it over and over do your you know rolls on it and then my amigurumis and things I need to do counting on and all that um, or for when I'm more in the current space <laughs> so when I'm I'm kind of out of uh, focusing zone I like to work on blankets and shawls that is just the same thing over and over again and then when I want to sit down and focus on actually crocheting I will make amigurumis or more uh, detailed things yeah so that's my whips got two whips and three finished objects technically it's just one of them's up there <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I can get a photo from the video clip that I took and I'll, I would have already insult, inserted it so there we go but that's pretty much all I have to show you guys I do have a piece of happy mail but I can't open it yet <laughs> I will show it to you it's in this box right here which I did open because I wanted to make sure there wasn't a note in there that was for current Ella but this is a little advent type calendar thing from <clears throat> uh, Jennifer. She she saw me talking about how I wished I had gotten an advent calendar. I'm trying to open up too much noise because <laughs> Jesse's still asleep. So she, and I'm also working on my scrap blanket, which I haven't worked on in, in a while. But she said that she had a bunch of scrap balls laying around. So she wanted to make like an advent calendar type thing with her scrap balls for me to use for my blanket or whatever. She also added three other little gifts in there, she said. So it did come with a note, but this is for Future Ella. Devin read it and told me that it was for Future Ella. <laughs> so, but I wanted to show you just a little bit. Let me move the note. I have to spill it everywhere. But this is the inside of it. <laughs> so it's got scrap balls wrapped up like that. And it's got some of these little paper confetti things and then the three other things right there and the note what I'm gonna do with it is I'm gonna cut the foldy parts off of the box these things <laughs> and I'm gonna wrap the box in Christmas paper to where the top is open and set it under the tree and that way because they're not numbered she said he said that she said <laughs> in the note that they're not numbered which they're not so I can just reach in there and grab whichever one there's 25 um, scrap balls plus the three and the note says I guess I should just read the note since he already told me everything the note said <laughs> but um that I can open those on whichever day I want you know I can just reach in and grab a yarn ball and then the other three I can open whenever I want or feel like it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap it pretty and put it under the tree and then every day I can just grab one out and open it and my plan is for vlogmas is to open the scrap ball show it to you guys and then put it in my blanket that day and then you know, I can do that in the morning, film that clip, and then in the evening I can film, film the blanket with the yarn in it. I thought that would be fun. But uh, I was pretty excited about that, and it's cute that they're all wrapped up. And from what I can tell, they're all about the same size, so that's neat. But, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to go ahead and read this, since Devin pretty much told me everything that was in it. <laughs> but um, I didn't want to ruin any surprises, you know, so I had him open it for me. But I think that's all the Happy Meal I got today. I feel like I got a card, but I, I don't, I don't, I don't think I did because I'm really good at showing my cards, <laughs> but I do have a, an envelope I got to find. I know it's somewhere that was sent to me by Michelle and she told me not to open it until after Halloween and it's after Halloween and now I can't remember where I put it. It's somewhere. I just have to find it. So that'll be fun finding it, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that's everything for today. So I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and get this edited and up because I'm like, I'm trying to get better at putting my videos out earlier in the day <laughs> and uh, normally I film them the day before when I do that but I didn't have any time yesterday I was quilting yesterday I quilted all the bags yesterday every one of them it took forever <laughs> it took four and a half hours of sewing but I got it done and today I'm gonna start uh, piecing some of the bags together 
I'm going to try to get them done by this weekend, but it's probably not going to be until beginning of next week. Uh, maybe Monday or Tuesday of next week. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there's a lot of bags coming up. There's going to be, I think, 11 large zipper project bags. And I think 16 large tote bags with the big handles. And then there's going to be some zipper notion pouches. I'm not sure how many. I have, I think, 53 cut out. <laughs> but I'm probably not going to sew 53 this week. I'll just sew as many as I want to. And then that'll be how many is in this update. And then the rest of them can be in the next update. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty sure that's everything that I got to share with you guys today. So I will see you in another video. Uh, today is Tuesday, I believe. So tomorrow is Wednesday. I'm going to try to get back into doing watch work on Wednesdays because I kind of slacked during October. But um, I'm going to try to get back into that. And I did start uh, making videos again for my second channel, the No Catch Name Vlogs. Um, I think it's called Life. I can't remember. <laughs> it's been a while. I haven't posted in there for, in five months. But um, I, it'll be linked below if you want to check that out. I posted a vlog yesterday, I think, <laughs> in it. Uh, of us putting up Christmas and me meal planning and stuff and also um, I'm gonna be making a video today for that because I want to get back into being healthier and trying to lose some weight again I did gain weight weight back this summer because of um, all the stress from the COVID stuff and the miscarriages and all that so uh, you know I got depressed obviously but I'm coming back out of that so I'm feeling a lot better and I think I can focus on take care of myself better now so I want to try to start making videos for that again because that was super motivating for me to have people, um, you know, cheer me on and stuff. So I want to get back into doing that on that channel. I'm going to try to keep my vlogs on that channel, crochet stuff on this channel, and sewing stuff. But I am still going to do Vlogmas on this channel because uh, I'm going to try to make it crochet -y with these uh, scrap balls and some other things that I'm going to be doing. And I might vlog do some vlogmas on the other channel too the actual family vlogs of us doing Christmassy things and all that oh we'll see <laughs> we'll see but definitely check that channel out if you're interested and uh yeah i will see you guys in the next video bye guys